Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Mega Man for the NES. Last time I defeated Guts Man, and in this video I'm gonna take on Cut Man. Which, whom I should've started off to begin with, but, uh... Got that, oh, like I said in the last video, that jumping uh, part with the platforms kind of threw me off in that, so... I should've played this stage first, but, uh... As you can see, these irritating flying enemies are making a comeback here, which... I probably should have been more careful here, but, uh... As you can see here, taking the high ground is probably the best way to go here. And you see those bricks right there? That's kind of like, um... Kind of looks like Super Mario Brothers bricks that, that I'm standing on? Well... If you have the Gutsman weapon, which is the super arm, then you'll be able to eliminate those. But I don't want to waste my power until I get to Cutman, which is... Naturally, Super Arm is his weakness in that, so uh, I want to save as much of that as I can. And it's probably best to eliminate these enemies, too. Please forgive me for not knowing the names of these things, but, uh... Yeah, as soon as you can get rid of them, the better, because they will be... They will knock you down, and as you see a couple minutes ago, they almost knocked me into uh, that pit there. So... I have to say that the music in this stage is better than uh, the one in Guts Man, but it's still not great by any means. But like I said in the last video, it's kind of unfair to say that the music is bad on here, because when this game was released, it was it was actually pretty good compared to most other NES games and that. But uh, if you compare this compared to the other the later Mega Man games, there's, there's no comparison. This, the music here pales in comparison to the later games, so... see these enemies. Those enemies are so much easier to deal with when you're playing as base in Mega Man 10. Which is weird because I just finished beating Mega Man 10 before I started playing this, so, uh... But yeah, I can't wait to do a playthrough of that game. Just imagine how easy this game was be would be if base was evolved. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, Bass uh, didn't make his first appearance in the series until Mega Man 7. But yeah, he would've made this part- he, as a matter of fact, he would've made all these games so much easier. Yeah, you, it's probably best just to avoid these enemies here, like right there, I just shot that one, but I would've been okay if I would've just... Avoided him, which I didn't do a very good job avoiding that one. As a matter of fact, I didn't see him whenever I got this point, but, uh... Oh, and I didn't say this in the last video, but you probably already guessed it. My commentary here is not live. <laughs> and it's probably a good thing, too, because if it would have been live, then you probably would have heard me cussing up a storm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I didn't want to subject you guys to that, so... This commentary that I'm doing right now is, for, and for the rest of the series, is pretty much a retrospective commentary about what happened and what all things you can see while I'm playing through here and stuff like that. So, of course, you gotta watch out for those enemies too. In particular, here, you, d you especially don't want to be down there whenever he's shooting, or else he'll knock you in a spike. And as far as this game is concerned, landing in spikes w is instant death. I know some of the later games, spikes gives you like a half damage or even quarter damage, but on here, it, it spikes are instant death, which I think is fair, you know. I don't know of anybody landing on spikes and surviving that, so... <laughs> but, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this stage. Well, up until the boss, but uh... I forget what these things are called too, but they're not too bad to deal with. And as you can see from the time marker, this level is slightly longer than Guts Man, but I think it's easier, because you don't have to deal with as much tricky stuff, and, uh... Even Cut Man himself here isn't that hard, which, as you'll see here, I try to beat him with his weakness, but I kind of fudged it up a little bit. <laughs> see, see how bad I fudged it up there? Well... Don't- even if you do what I did there, don't worry about you know, not beating him and stuff, because he's- he's extremely easy to beat with a Mega Buster. 
as you see here, if, if you start shooting at him, he'll... You can pretty much get him where he ends up following the same pattern. Just keep on shooting him and avoiding his uh, scissors and... He won't be that hard to kill at all. And that is Cutman. Who is one of the most famous and popular robot masters in the, the old series and that and... And rightfully so, I think he's a pretty cool guy and I know he was part of the... The cartoon series to the animated series, so, um... But yeah, there's, uh, two Robot Masters down, four more to go, so... Thank you for watching this, and tune in again next time.